Welcome to the Brownwood Bulletin's webcast for Sunday, January 23rd, 2011. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer and columnist for the Bulletin, and here are some of the top stories we'll have in our Sunday paper. Four juveniles ages 8 to 15 have admitted to setting six fires on land near Willis Creek after they and a 20-year-old with diminished mental capabilities were caught in the act on an infrared camera. As the investigation was evolving, the youth found the camera and removed it, hiding it in a bedroom of a house where two of the boys, who are brothers, live. And, as promised, deputies are serving warrants and arresting people as part of the Sheriff's Office's Warrant Roundup. Two people with a total of eight outstanding warrants between them were arrested late last week. Their bonds were almost double the amount of the original fines. Free tax preparation and filing assistance is being held this year, but the Volunteer Income Tax Assistant location has moved from the Adams Street Community Center to Ranger College at Heartland Mall. Volunteers are available from 1 to 4.30 Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Howard Payne Lady Jackets were looking to increase their season-best win streak to seven games, while the HPU Yellow Jackets were hoping to snap a six-game skid at Shriner Saturday. Find out how each basketball team prevailed. Also, the Brownwood Lions and Lady Lions wrapped up play in the Alita Soccer Tournament. See if the Brownwood squads were able to get back in the win column. You'll get all these stories and more in the Sunday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at Brownwood Bulletin.